welcome back everyone so while using your computer someday you may feel that your computer is working slow or if you have visited any kind of malicious or suspicious website or even sometime you feel that your computer has been hacked so how will you know that your pc has been hacked or not and what are the possible ways to get rid of these malwares and hackers from your computer so in this video i will be showing you the best possible ways to catch these hackers from your device and remove them easily by following few simple steps so without any delay let's quickly get started so the very first thing that you will have to do you need to find out that is there any kind of malicious program running on your computer or even if there is any kind of fake virus pop-up that is blocking your computer then you need to close them for that you need to make a right click on the windows icon then click on task manager in case if you are not able to access your task manager uh, through the windows icon then you can also use the shortcut key that is control shift and escape and this will bring up the task manager on your screen so once the task manager comes up now here it will list you all kind of application all kind of program running on your device so look here for each and every application whichever you find suspicious or you don't identify simply make a right click on it and choose end task and make sure that you scroll down till the bottom and find any kind of suspicious application or program and just close them a part of this what else you can do click on your windows search type resource then from the suggestion you will have to click on resource monitor now here from the top menu option you will have to click on network and in the network find out any kind of application or program that is occupying the maximum bandwidth now many time when these kind of hacker they send any kind of malware that run on your computer so basically these kind of program and malware they occupy a lot of internet data on your computer and this might be the right way to catch these kind of malicious file running on your computer so on my end you can see it there is a avika service that is a remote desktop service so somebody probably is trying to remotely access my computer so if you find any suspicious program here again or any application that is occupying a lot of bandwidth you just need to make a right click on it and choose end process tree now in case if you are not able to handle this job or you find this process complicated then you can take the help of any computer technician computer expert or you can also take our channel help by joining our membership all right now next what you have to do click on your windows search again type netplwiz hit the enter key and this will bring up the user account and it will list you all kind of user account created on your computer now many times these hackers they create a user account to access your computer locally so what you have to do here look over all the user account created whichever you feel that you have not created or any account that look very similar to yours then you will have to go ahead and delete them once you are done you have to click on ok and now next you also need to make sure that you uninstall any kind of pirated game or application that you have currently installed as majority of the hacking issues occur because of this pirated program so i have seen many people they are enjoying many kind of game many kind of application downloading from any kind of website and most of these website contains the malicious program inside that application or game so if you have recently downloaded any kind of such application or game then go ahead and uninstall them you also need to uninstall any kind of application or program that you are not using or you don't identify and in order to uninstall you have to click on your windows search again type appwiz.cpl again hit the enter key now this will list you all kind of application program installed on your computer so whichever you don't identify whichever you don't need or any kind of pirated program or game you have to go ahead right click on it and choose uninstall now part of this i would also recommend you that instead of uninstalling these application from here use any third party software like revo uninstaller or wise uninstaller to completely remove those application from your computer i've already created a video on that you can check that video that how to completely remove this application and wanted junk from your computer like from your registry and from the c drive and additionally one more thing i would recommend you that if you're using any kind of pirated windows or not activated windows then kindly go ahead 
and reinstall your windows again and have a product key directly from your microsoft website or any kind of third party website it's not recommended that you should go and use any kind of pirated windows because your entire windows will be in the risk okay now next we also need to optimize the browser so whichever browser you use the most let's say if you use the google chrome then you have to bring it up then click on the three dot at the right and top and from the suggestion you will have to click on extensions then click on manage extensions now this will list you all kind of extension installed in your browser and you have to look for the one that you don't identify that you don't use or you feel malicious simply go ahead disable them and then remove from your device it's really recommended that do not skip this part once you are done again click on the three dot on the right in top click on settings from the left in menu option you will have to click on privacy and security click on clear browsing data choose advanced time range to all time and here check all the options except password and autofill form data keep them unchecked then you have to click on clear data and wait until all the files are being deleted next from the left in menu option only click on reset settings click restore setting to their original default and click reset setting again in case if the hackers have made any kind of changes it will be removed and once you are done open a new tab and type here chrome password manager hit the enter key and click on the first link of google password manager now it might ask you to log in with your google account that you are using on your computer so log in with the google account and once logged in you have to click on go to password check click on check passwords and once the check has been completed it will let you know that what kind of password are being compromised what are the reused password and what kind of password is a weak all right so this is a very important step and a very useful feature of google and you can see on my end it's a 55 compromised password change this password right now all right so you will have to click on the drop down and it will list you all kind of website where your password seems to be compromised now this process may take some time because you have to manually change the password for each and every website and on the right hand side you will find the option of change password okay so click on them one by one whichever website you feel important go to their website change the password for their account immediately once you are done you can go back again and you can also look over the password that seems to be weak or the one that says reused password all right so click on them check each and every website go and change the password for those accounts so that your account and your information should be safe and secure okay so doing all these steps will be surely helping you to find out that your computer has been hacked or not now there are a few more steps to apply in order to remove all these kind of hackers and malicious programs from your computer so for that you need to click on your windows search type virus click on virus and threat protection and here you have to click on the scan options now here you'll find few different kind of a scan first you have to go with a quick scan once it get completed you need to come back to the same page and run microsoft defender antivirus let it run and once it get completed next you have to right click on windows icon click on run type here mrt click on ok click on yes and this is the free and a best program of microsoft windows malicious software removal tool and this box will be up and here you have to click on next it says quick scan full scan so i would recommend you to go with a full scan because it will take a long time but it will give you the best result in case if you don't have enough time then you can also go with a quick scan you can click on next and the scanning will be started a part of that i would also recommend you that go ahead and delete all the temporary file because many times these files remain in the temporary folder and can cause the issues again so right click on the windows icon again click on run type here temp hit the enter key select all these files by pressing ctrl a from your keyboard then press the shift and the delete key to permanently delete all these files once you are done again right click on the windows icon click on run this time you have to type percent temp percent again and then click on ok again press ctrl a to select all then press shift and delete key click on yes and it will start deleting all the temporary file from your computer that may also contain any kind of viruses and infections once done again bring up any of your browser and in the search you have to type hitman 
hit the enter key click on the first link of hitman pro and here you have to click on free 30 day trial then click on download now hitman pro is a very powerful tool to remove any kind of stubborn malware or any kind of malicious activity from your computer so download the program click on the downloaded file click on yes choose no i only want to perform a one-time scan to check this computer then click on next and the scanning will be started so this program will detect any kind of trojan any kind of malware that is stored on your computer and it will automatically delete them so wait until the program is been and the scan is being completed and now finally what else i would recommend you that go ahead and change the password of your router change the password of your computer and better have a strong and the complicated password to change your computer password you can right click on the windows icon then click on settings from the left in menu option click on accounts and there you have to click on sign in options and here you will find different ways to sign in and i've seen many people they are using either a weak password for your computer or not using any kind of password on their device now it is strongly recommended that go with a strong password like we can go with a fingerprint recognition the facial recognition or even if you go with a password then choose the strong password that you have not used on this computer before all right so these are the best recommendation guys you can try in order to fix and remove all kind of hacking issues from your computer so that's all guys hopefully you will find this information useful if yes do not forget to like and subscribe if you have any kind of doubt any kind of problem you can let me know in the comment section and i see you in the next video bye bye